howdy welcome to fishtails I'm gonna make a bunch of poppers I'm gonna use these little star foam bobbers and what's gonna be uh, interesting about this particular video is the heads are made out of star foam bobbers I'm gonna show you how to get two flies out of one bobber Basically, I'm going to show you how to make the head on these things. Like I say, these are cheap little slip corks. And you start the process by getting one of them out of the bag. You can get all of them out of the bag. This, these are a little bit larger. We'll make bigger poppers. There you go. You start by cutting this thing in the dead center in the middle at a slight angle. It's usually not too hard to do. Take the little stopper out of there. You won't need that for this fly. And you can see I'm going to cut right, try to get it right at the center at a slight angle. And be careful with this. Don't cut yourself. I will not be held liable for people cutting themselves and it's easy to do this stuff is tough I probably ought to be using a little saw that's about halfway through this foam is pretty tough stuff anyway Work your way through there. Now I got two halves that are slightly tilted. See, I got two halves now that are slightly tilted. And what you do is you just make sure that you get that just right. Now I'm going to take and flatten the face out a little bit. Smooth out my cut since it's not very smooth. That's a nasty sound. I think this thing has a, a rough side and a smooth side, so let's hit the rough side a little bit. See, now it's starting to flatten out a little bit. I'm going to do something else to this to make that front cut. i do a little experimenting with fire. <laughs> There we go. That's pretty good. Alright, now let me go get my other little experimental gear. Alright, I need to go out in the shed and make a new tool. <laughs> I gotta do a little grinding. I need I need a a metal round object. I think if I've got a carriage bolt that'll work just fine. Let me go see if I got one. Well that didn't take very long. Ha ha ha. I found what I was looking for in the first bag I looked in. Now I got me a little fire starter. A little tea, little tea light candle. I'm going to heat the end of this thing up real good. And use it to form the front of this fly like that. So it will be nice and cupped. Just a little cup. It'll, it, should, it should harden the surface of this popper by closing off all those open cells. That's the theory anyway. Let's see what happens. Alright, I hope this works. I know it's going to take a while to heat this thing up, so I'll not uh, make you watch the uh, metal heat up. But this is basically what I'm doing. There, now I've got to hang on to it while it's heating up. It's going to take a while. I think what I should do is probably dip it in the wax before I go to burn this, before I go to melt this popper up. If I put it in the wax first and get it good and covered with the wax, then it won't stick to the surface here. It might not even burn the surface, it might just melt it the way I need it to. Uh, for any of you younger children that are watching this thing, 
this is playing with fire uh, and if you're not an adult it's not okay so you need to ask permission get one of your parents or a supervisor somebody who should know better uh, to kind of supervise so that you don't burn the house down it would not be a good trade-off to get a popper for a burned house believe me insurance would look uh, unfavorably upon your parents forever and ever all right let's see if that's hot enough make sure it doesn't get to my fingers actually I think what I should do is use this little thing and put it in the end oh there we go now it's got a handle this is a part about being old enough to know what the heck you're doing or trying to do well, that thing's hot enough I don't know if it's going to melt this star foam or not Is kind of melting it. I'm afraid it may have to be really hot. Let me see if I can heat up that popper, front of that popper. Oh yeah. Sort of working. And this screw is definitely heating up. I can feel it crawling down the shaft. There we go. Now it's kind of getting there. Slowly but surely, it's getting there. Let's see if the other one doesn't go a little smoother. Get that popper just close enough that it'll heat up, but won't catch on fire. Got a nice long and narrow one. We'll see how this works. This ought to be a little easier to cut, I hope. next step is to make the bottom of these things flat because that thickness there from the hole to the bottom it's too thick and it interferes with the gap of the hook so I'm going to take some of that off the surface a little bit. I'm not even going to heat up this end of it. I'm just going to use it. To... Oh yeah, that's working good. All right. Shoot, that's cupping the surface of this without having to do anything. Flatten the bottom of this one. I have to determine first where the 
Looks like it needs to be oriented just about like that. This also lets you know where the bottom of the fly actually is. You could wait and do this after you get it on the hook. Might be smarter. There's one nice little popper head. And a two, three, four. I got four to work with now. I'm going to take my markers and I'm going to go ahead and paint these things up first with my markers before I put them on the hook. Alright, let's continue with our preparing these things. You can see how when I hit that with a magic marker it actually takes the orange color off. Peels right off and reveals the white underneath. I'm going to do something similar as far as I need a place to put the eye. I'm going to use those little googly eyes that I've got. So I'm going to make a nice little flat spot on both sides. Just like that. That's about right. I'm not going to use big eyes. I'm going to use small ones. Alright, got a bunch of different eye sizes. I'm going to use that size right there. That looks like a good size. I don't know. I don't know how well this super Gorilla Super Glue is going to hold these eyes on here. Probably pretty good. I probably ought to be using my tweezers. Hey, and I actually got them somewhere where I can get at them. Hold that there for a second. It's probably going to melt the styrofoam. It won't melt the plastic, but it'll melt that styrofoam. Those, those are the little uh, eyeballs that the pupils loose in there. It's actually a little ball. They rattle just a little bit when they get moved. You can kind of see how that eyeball moves around inside there. It rattles just a little bit. I don't know if it matters or not, but it might help. This one's going to be a little harder. There you have it. A few nice little popper heads. Slight cup. That one's probably the best of all of them. Got a nice cup on the front of it. This one's okay. Probably a dark front. That one's got a black front because it's full of wax. This one has the tail in it. Now let me just thread up some hooks and Put some tails on them and put these heads on them. I'm not going to go into great detail. This part is pretty common. Just put your hook in there. I like to flatten the barbs. That way if I stick it in myself it comes out easily. And yeah, it comes out easily when the fish decides he's going to really chomp on it. I'll tell you what, that's a bait holder hook so it's got those darn little barbs on the top. Flatten those down a little bit. Grippers. There we go. 
I'm just going to thread this up and put together a real quick tail on this. Oh, jeez. Unthreaded my hook. I unthreaded my bobbin. Let me show you an easy way to thread one of these things. Well, first thing you have to have is a nice smooth end. So you cut a new end on it. You start it through the bobbin, whatever this thing is called. You start it through there. And you suck on it. <laughs> Quickest way to thread one I've come up with. Don't need any tools. Uh oh, almost went too far. Alright, here we go. I'll put this in fast motion. I need this longer hook because of the uh, bigger bobbers. Uh, the bigger, you need enough depth on that hook so that when it's all the way through the body you got some sticking out the back still and the hook sticking out the front so it needs to be fairly long type of Gorilla Glue, which is a catalyst glue. It reacts with water. You use it in woodworking. And it would work good in here because it foams. It foams up and it would fill that cavity. But that probably ain't going to matter a lot. Because it's definitely... There you go. There's one. I won't show you the rest of the process, but I'm gonna build three more of them for the popper heads that I've got on right now. I found me some orange feathers. That's gonna make a good looking fly. Orange and brown, here we go. All right, I'll show you the finished products. As you can see, they're not the prettiest flies I've ever made, but for expense and time and something to do when you ain't got nothing else to do, and it's cold and rainy outside this works pretty good tie up a few of them but be careful because you're using razor blades and fire two things that you have to be real careful with thanks for watching y'all be good bye